the Black Box Theater in this performance of The Feed. I am your digital interface, Mr. Feed, and your first Feed friend. I hope, after your visit today, that we will spend many hours together exploring this online world. But now, back to the play. In case of emergency, please note the exit nearest you. Thank you for not taking photos or recording this performance as recording distracts both the actors and the audience. Place your phones on silent or airplane mode, as the only texts we want to hear will take place on stage. This play is performed without an intermission. Again, we are grateful that you chose to log into the feed. Your account will be activated in just a few moments, so sit back IRL and enjoy our online world. <laughs> chocolate. Good morning. My friend Lauren Ward warned me that this red crock pot was sitting in the parking lot behind the office. And kitchen appliances, traditionally found indoors, are inexplicably exterior. It's got what seems to be corn on the cob and a very spoiled topic. Strange, I thought, but not so strange as to capture more than several minutes of my attention. I know the church folks sometimes spark in this lot on Sundays. So maybe it's a members. Anyone know who this belongs to? Surely in an hour or two, someone will claim it with an embarrassed, oops. Lauren Ward warned me that this red crock pot was sitting in the parking lot. The word warned sticks with me. I'm surprised it's still there. Now I'm curious. Have you thought about selling it on the feed marketplace? That's so weird. Agreed. Do you guys ever wake up feeling like Snow White and proceed to begin six different projects simultaneously while singing to nature with the brightest smile stretched across your face and then suddenly realize mid-project you are not in fact a magically productive princess of the wood, you're just 
Smack in the middle of the Manic episode? Finally! After decades of waiting, Snow White is released from the vault deep under the Magic Kingdom. Relive the magic. Get your digital download code today. <laughs> Selling it on the feed marketplace. That's so weird. I'm patiently waiting for an update. Day two. The crock pot remains in the parking lot, unloved and unclaimed. Yesterday, there was a plausible theory. The crock pot was simply left by a church member on his or her way to a potluck across the street. However, that theory was shattered by a single comment. We haven't had a potluck in months! <laughs> Shadow, along with every illusion of order in the universe. Day three. Its time in the wild seems to have changed, changed its appearance. There's a ruggedness that wasn't there before. Dare I say, a living wildness. Ooh. I must admit, the shine of the metallic red clashes with the fallen leaves in a most intriguing way. But how long before nature overcomes the shine? How long before the shine takes over? I love this so much. LOL. <laughs> That's not how I remember it. There's a child's bike lying on a nearby sidewalk that hasn't moved in at least a week. It's a bit creepy. It moved, did it? This one thing's for certain. The crock pot is a harbinger of change. Can't wait to find out what happens next. <laughs> the brain shift in the pandemic is basically just one person sending a text when they're in a good mood and you're not, and then you finally responding when you're in a good mood, but now they're not. <laughs> Truth. Brandon Ann likes 27 of Kay's posts. One year ago today, Tiger King entered our lives. <laughs> Happy lockdown anniversary, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations to Robin Breyer and Brandon Griggs, celebrating 16 years of friendship on the feed. Way to go, you two. 16 years sure goes by fast. Thanks for being my friend that long, and even longer in real life. Robin, same goes to you. Happy friend day to one of my oldest and best. Hey now, I'm not that old, winky face. The gray hair that I found this morning suggests otherwise, and uh, we're the same age. Maybe I'm just aging more gracefully than you. That is 100% the case. Uh, how are Austin and Lucas? Oh, Austin is fine. Uh, real estate keeps him busy, but with the market just starting to bounce back, I'm not sure what he does all day. Uh, Lucas is starting middle school in fall, if you can believe it. Wow, that's crazy and amazing. You guys seem really happy. Yeah. Uh, what about Hannah and the baby? Are you guys adjusting well? Well, we're still figuring things out, but uh, Hannah's a superstar at this whole mothering thing, just like I knew she'd be. She did have a lot of practice doing with you. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. I, I am a handful. Get a chat room, you two! Not a bad idea. I'll DM you. Hey. Hey. Sorry it's been so long. Life has been... Seriously, don't worry about it. It's been crazy for me, too. Yeah. I mean, there's a pandemic, all the protests here in Atlanta, and work. I'm trying to figure out how to handle counseling sessions online? It's the worst. And I've also been, I've been dealing with... 10.37 a.m. Hey, Magpie. What are you up to? Hey. Um, I've got to go for now, but we'll catch up some more soon, okay? Uh, okay. No worries. Nice talking to you, Robin. You too. 10.41. 
Hey, Ian. Hey, just taking a break from work. Nothing much. Talk to anyone interesting today? Just the usual clients. I saw you talking to Brandon Griggs on the feed. You want to tell me about that? There's nothing to tell, Austin. I was just catching up with an old friend. Not just a friend, Robin. He's the guy who had feelings for. That was in high school. I had a crush on him in high school. It's not like I forgot. And you felt the need to talk with him today. Are you serious? We were just catching up. I want to look at your phone messages when I get home. Red, 10.58 a.m. Eleven ten a.m. Fine. Whatever. Bye. See you tonight. You know I love you, Mac. Bye. Message delivered. Unread. Absolutely nothing. Why would somebody leave a perfectly good crock pot outside for four days? <laughs> because people are dumb. But now you have something fun to write about, and that's good. I think they would have picked it up by now. I wouldn't. Look at it. Gross. Day four of the Madden crock pot. I am haunted by the appliance. With its power cord languidly draped across the garden stones, forcing me to ask myself if it was doing so the day before. I don't know. I can't remember. It's trying to reach out to you. Please don't say that. Why else would the cords have moved? Thanks. I'll never sleep again. This is hands down the best thing on the internet. The casual nature of the crock pot conceals the aggressively slow churning. And the crock plot thickens. A ruby sepulcher. I hope this never ends. The myth of undead evolution incarnate. I think we have an SCP on our hands. We're with the Secure Contain and Protect Foundation. SCP. Have you noticed any unexplained movement? Disappearances of animals or people? Signs of sentience. Euclid or Keter? I'm thinking Euclid, it clearly isn't too easy to contain or it wouldn't be outside. But it doesn't seem to be in much of a hurry. Uh, excuse me, but uh, what the heck? Uh, do, do I know you? Thank your maker you don't. <laughs> okay. Reporting two fake accounts. Go get them, Brandon. What are they even talking about? Just ignore the trolls, man. We operate beyond the guidelines of your social media. <laughs> you live in mind to be certain that this is a safe and sane world, believing that fear of the darkness is only for children. Who do you think stands in that darkness? Leaving you free to pretend that fact is fiction. It's, uh, intelligent minds like these that'll help me survive this encounter. Object class, Euclid. What's living in there? Please take a sample. Uh, Jim Bart, Lee Barron, do you guys in the science department own any hazmat suits? <laughs> we could try and grow some bacteria in it, but the results might be underwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I may not be a scientist, but I'm 98% sure that what we're dealing with is something extraterrestrial. Eat it! See what happens. What could go wrong? Mischievous gift from the shadow. Shoulder devil, what are you doing here? I've been strictly warned about you. <laughs> IDK who would warn you about me. I'm pretty awesome. I have the best ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Mitchell testing confirms that it is indeed a true SCP. We need to uplink this data to the administrator right away. Request further research after capture by MTF. Two, 
Three. How about them apples? John, you'll never guess. This new Pixie K character that I've created for the feed and TikTok is doing exactly what I told you she'd do. Well, I don't have any hard data about her, at least not until you let me bring PK in-house so we can generate some proper metrics on her influence. I can tell you that I've seen followership increase by 200% in the past two months alone. I'm telling you, these kids in quarantine are going stir crazy. Pixie case words. And there have been followed a free spirit like our Pixie K. Just give me the word in, I'll introduce her to our variety reps. I promise my little creation will drive up our 15 to 21 year old demographic. But you know how you want to do it, Penny. It's Penny Gale, social media director from John McAnally, VP Digital Media, Chicago Marketing Media. Date, February 5th, 2021. Read, that apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Pen, don't think I don't see what you're doing trying to place your side hustle front and center. While I've always been a fan of your oddball creative approach, I'm more interested in today's analytics. The Verizon execs need nearly hourly updates on engagement now that the new campaign is launched. Ed Sheeran's people need some new graphics for their North American tour. And I need to review your analytics for Heinz. That Pixie K is gonna get you into trouble one day. So, let me see you stick the green. Not the rough. Mac. Reply to the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> no worries, Mac. My team and I have all of our ducks in a row. Dashboards for each of our clients show engagement increases within our planned expectation. And Chloe's already started on Sharon's tour graphics. You know I've got this. Your ever obedient corporate shill. Hey. <laughs> Eight fifteen a.m. Hey, hon. Just dropped Mal off at daycare. Hope you have a good day. Awesome. Thanks for warming up my car for me this morning. I love you. I know. Ten seventeen a.m. I completely forgot to pick up baby food for Mal the last time I was out. Do you think you could pick some up while you're out today? Already done. I noticed it last night and thought to pick some up on the way to drop her off this morning. Thank goodness. Somehow I always seem to forget that she might actually need food. LOL. Crisis averted. No starving child in this household tonight. Smiley face. Red 11.29 a.m. 2.16 p.m. By the way, Mom said she's still good to pick up Mal from daycare so we can make our reservation at 7. Red 3.43 p.m. 5.30 p.m. Hey, on your way home? 6.27 p.m. Hey, I'm sorry I've been in and out of client meetings all day and I just received an email requesting emergency content be presented in the morning. I know we've been looking forward to this dinner, but I'm not going to be able to make it. Read 6.29 p.m. Six forty p.m. That's Totally fine. I'll see if I can change the reservation to tomorrow night. Smiley face. You are simply the best. What would I do without you? Probably starve. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, I'll stop by the Vietnamese place and pick up your favorite. forfeit to a new host, a slave of the crockpot agenda. <laughs> Are you okay? Or perhaps, perhaps it reproduced asexually. <laughs> Overnight binary fission. Like amoebas. Amoebas providing their own potluck. <laughs> um, uh, uh, no, 
no, no, no. I can't allow myself to accept the possibility that this occurred naturally, that it's somehow part of its life cycle. <laughs> Either that thing is replicating itself, or it has contacted the rest of its hellish an unknowable race of travelers that move in the cold between the stars. Dennis! <laughs> what a surprise. People like you aren't prepared for threats like this. I can't deal with this right now. <laughs> They're drawn to the inviting warmth of an unsuspecting world. Now that's a story premise. Sentient crockpot summons extraterrestrial invasion! Who's in the crockpot? <laughs> Maybe its true form is so maddeningly horrible that our own brains can't comprehend it. <laughs> Who is this clown? Thanks, Dennis. Now there's a crockpot ad in my feed. <laughs> Low and slow in a Hamilton Beach crockpot. <laughs> From quick weeknight meals to major feats of entertaining, trust Hamilton Beach household appliances to help you shine. Visit our blog at hamiltonbeach.com. <laughs> There is indeed a disturbing increase of crockery. Is there anything in the second one? <laughs> Don't look! It's not worth the risk. <laughs> Dennis. There are some things that men were never meant to see. <laughs> Anything in the second one? Uh, there's nothing, I think. But I don't trust my eyes. There's something malignant about the space. I, I don't want to get too close. What if we put something in the second one? <gasps> like a peace offering and use a mirror so you aren't making direct eye contact. Do you really <laughs> want to do that? I mean, I don't see the harm in trying. Yeah, what's the harm in trying? <laughs> We've been monitoring your feed and we think we know what's what. Class Euclid. Status uncontained. Designation SCP-6000. <laughs> Object appears to possess self-replicating properties. This could be an outbreak event. It seems as if Euclid may have multiplied as a way to keep itself safe. It may be beneficial to remove the new entity. Designation SCP-6000-1. What if we feed them? The crockpots? If we feed the original, something new might occur. <laughs> like in Reykjavik, stick to the protocols. Sir, I suggest you back up and let us handle this. <laughs> Is this how the world ends? They continue to multiply until we weak humans are no more. An army of appliances, read by an Instapot overlord. Aww, they're so cute! Babies! <laughs> Scooby! Crockpots can't reproduce. They don't have genitals. <laughs> <laughs> if there are more crockpots tomorrow, I'll feel genuine, honey. Quit messing around! Kill the beast! Smash it in the face with an iron! Drop an anvil on it! Beep, beep. <laughs> As a fan of cooking, it shocks me that someone would do that to a crockpot. <laughs> As a fan of shocking Casey, I love it. Dislike. <laughs> Smite them in their algae tart. And if they expel parasitic mind-altering spores, we have hazmat suits. <laughs> <laughs> I am so uncomfortably invested in this. Listen, everyone, there is no need to panic. This is a manageable paranormal outbreak. Outbreak? With clearly identified meta tags. Any speculation as to kitchenware sentience will only fuel the psionic fire that surrounds the event. Don't think of a white bear. What? Don't think of a white bear. You're all thinking about a white bear, right? <laughs> Why is that? Because you smell like one? No. Because I mentioned it, you can't help but think about it. A dozen metaphysical white bears are whirling around us right now, thanks to your imaginations. What's your point? If you want to contain the event, you can't think about it. 
basic SCP dogma. Don't feed the bears. Exactly. Oh, yeah, that's a certain absolute truth. Oh, you guys are being serious. Dudes! What are you all smoking? It's a couple of crock pots. There's no conspiracy. Or aliens. Or polar bears. White bears. <laughs> I don't know what fellow goblin did this to you, Brandon, but I love them. <laughs> you did this, didn't you? Oh, please, please tell me this is you. Me? I live 500 miles away. If it was me, I would have had a whole rotten feast set out by the end of the week. Goblets and all! <laughs> this isn't funny! This is the definition of funny! Look at all of you, freaking out over crock pots. It's, it's sad, <laughs> you used to be fine. I'm just trying to make sense of all of this. Sense? What sense is there to make? Embrace the chaos of the moment! Seriously, I hate being the only sane one around here. Not everything needs an explanation. Obviously. <laughs> hey, I know you had a lot on your plate today. Just wanted to check in and see how your trainings went. Long and predictable. The big helping of pointless. I'd much rather be working with clients than this professional development nonsense. Death by PowerPoint is real. Client sessions are definitely where you shine. I'm sure you rocked the training session. Well, thank you. And thanks for checking in. That was really thoughtful. Heaven knows you've done the same for me. So, uh, enough about my day. How was yours? Actually, we had a real breakthrough today with the vet I was telling you about. I think we finally found someone at the VA who will actually take an interest in his case. I know you've been at it for weeks on this. Yeah. Looks like he'll finally be off the streets. And in a shelter, too. That's really great, Casey. I'm so pleased to hear that. Thank you. It was a good day. Well, enjoy some well-deserved relaxation with the family this evening. <laughs> right. Is everything all right? Oh, yeah. No, I'm sorry, it's none of my business. I know it's in the back. It's fine. It's fine? Yes, it's all fine. Thanks again for checking in on me. Well, see you at group. Yeah, yeah, see you then. Bye. Take care of your child. I can't take care of my own child. What's your name? 
Obviously, you can't. What's your name? Get away from me! Leave me alone! What is your name? Leave me alone! Day 11. A few days to decompress turned out to be exactly what I needed. Almost was I able to put the slow cookers from my thoughts. Only as I was making dinner for my wife and young son was I reminded by the sight of a silver crock pot resting quietly in the corner of the kitchen. It renewed and refocused, I decided to take a more aggressive approach. Upon inspection of the two anomalous crock pots, it seems that SCP 6000-1 is a slightly different model. Hamilton Beach, assembled by subcontractors in China, probably in 2018. The China, China Connection! We have an entire branch devoted to China-based anomalies. Based in Michigan. Anyways, both units seem to be set at uh, warm. Upon inspection of the inside of SCP-6000, we found what appeared to be corn husks and evidence of decay or rot. Similar to microorganism QX10, first found in the 1940s. That was ruled nine <laughs> years ago. This is clearly more advanced. You didn't remove the lid to test it? Oh, we still don't have clearance from the administrator for materials extraction. Unit SCP-6000-1 contains what appears to be kernels of baby corn. I thought it was empty. You told us you didn't really look. No, but I thought... If more corn shows up in this unit and there's no evidence of tampering, <laughs> then we got ourselves a party. <laughs> Just one question, Mr. Griggs. Have you been tampering with these units? Me? What? No, I haven't even touched them. We found these acetate-based, self-contained, flattened spheroids affixed with adhesive bonding material to the unit lid. Googly eyes. <laughs> Looks like we've got ourselves a prankster. We aren't fools. No, we're not. <laughs> a potentially metaphysical, self-replicating, crock-pot-like entity will not spontaneously sprout plastic tape on googly eyes. Engaging in these sorts of hijinks not only risks lives, it jeopardizes the integrity of the event site. For all we know, the pranksters have already been infected with extra planar spores. And so, Mr. Griggs, we expect you to steer clear of childish escapades and remind your friends to do the same. <laughs> Of course, while the SCP may have a lot of resources, I feel certain that I know what it is the crockpots want. I'm going to leave them a food offering. I found some shredded cheese in the office fridge. You took my cheese! <laughs> I can only hope that they're not lactose intolerant. I'd hate to see what happens if they are lactose intolerant. Well, now you're making me nervous. Oh. Well, how could you not be? I'm trying to stay positive. Uh, but you saying that you're nervous makes me nervous. <laughs> so, say you're not nervous. I'm not nervous. Good luck with the cheese, LOL. <laughs> what happened to the cords? What? Look, the cords. What is missing? Oh, sorry, that's SCP initiated. The administrator gave us the go-ahead to run some more active testing. Nothing to worry about, ma'am. Didn't it occur to you that altering their sources of power might have been exactly what these creatures wanted all along? Well, sir, I don't think... This is way better than the cheese thing, Brandon. Go out there and plug them in and see what happens. No. Go on! And shoot a video while you're at it. No. I'm starting to worry about you, Mr. Grace. Let's establish a code word that you can use when, well, when you feel like you're starting to go postal. <laughs> What's wrong? 
Nothing. Just a headache. Well, why don't you come to bed? In a minute. It's no trouble at all. I was happy to help. You don't have to walk through the door. I'm really fine. I know. I just want to introduce myself so your husband doesn't think some weirdo is dropping you off. I appreciate it. Hi, I'm Casey. Robin, where have you been? Keep your voice down. I drove by your office and the lights were off. I told you we had group at the Y tonight. You were supposed to pick me up. You should have called. I was texting you all night. My phone died. Oh, really? I stood out in the cold for 15 minutes. I wasn't going to stand there any longer waiting for you. Thanks for giving me a ride. Robin, that's not the point. And that's you... exactly the point. And where were you anyways? You're not going to interrogate me when you're the one who spent all evening with another man. Are you serious? Sir, I think we need to calm down. I just gave her a ride home. How about you stay out of this? I can take care of my own wife. Austin! Sir, I simply gave her a ride home. Not your place. Apparently it was today. Or you would have been there. I think it's time for you to leave. You gonna be alright? Don't you talk to my wife. She doesn't have anything to say to you. This is between me and her. Don't trip on your way out. Austin, you had no right treating him that way. Are you sleeping with him? What? I said, are you sleeping with that gimp? First of all, Casey's not a gimp. He was injured in Iraq, serving our country. Of course, the first thing you do is defend him. Second of all, are you really going to accuse me after what you did? Keep your voice down and don't make this about me. You cheated. We had a newborn baby. I was recovering from a C-section, taking care of our son, and you cheated on me. You absolute narcissist. You're just going to hold that over me forever? That was 12 years ago. Yes! Yes, I'm going to hold it over you because you should have been on your knees begging to make things right, to make it up to me. That's a little dramatic, don't you think? I told you I would never do it again. Don't touch me. That night, I found your phone with all those disgusting photos you sent to that woman. You broke me. You swore that you loved me more than anyone else, that she was a mistake and I was your only true love. But that's not true, is it? Your true love is you. You haven't changed in 12 years. You never put anyone first but yourself. Hey, I... Shut up. For once in your life, shut up. You always have an excuse. It's never your fault. When you cheated, it's because I wasn't giving you what you needed. It was hard on you. My recovery was hard on you. I haven't had a male friend in years because seeing me talk to another man makes you feel disconnected from me. I have done my part for you, for our family. As always, the burden is on me. You think I don't bear a burden? You think you're the only one who's made sacrifices? You are so selfish. You have no idea what I've given up. I think we need some time apart. What did you just say? You heard me. I'm done. I can't do this anymore. I'll pack tonight and be gone in the morning. I'd like to be alone, please. I'm not going anywhere. Either you leave right now or I do. And I won't be back. Nine thirteen p.m. Hey, are you all right? Do you need me to come get you? No. I'm all right. Some people hold a lot of rage inside. I hate to say it, but your husband looks like some of my guys. I thought we had a time. 
And could help him. It's not your responsibility to fix him. Call me if it gets too bad. Your friend, Brandy Griggs, is online. Would you like to send him a wave? No. <laughs> Something I need to tell him. Stop this before it's too late. Tonight my mind races in a waking nightmare. I keep trying 15 minute recipes, but everything cooks. Slow. <laughs> Dinner is never on time. Finally, I, I, I wake in a cold sweat. Someone moved the lid. Someone, under some dark influence, moved the lid for some dark purpose. Someone moved the lid. The, the lid. Moved. The crock pot moved its lid. Hey, Brandon. <clears throat> What's it? Brandon? You just gonna ghost me? What happened to the lid? <laughs> <laughs> you still playing with those toasters? <laughs> Perhaps the crock pots are alive. <laughs> no, no, no. That's impossible. Cook that chili low and slow. That's a beach crock pot. Want some advice, Brandon? You need to slow down. Well, no, well, no, 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 no. Cut it out. This is stupid. <laughs> you can't get rid of me with a couple of key strokes. Keep banging away like that. You wake Hannah. She's a light sleeper, you know. Who are you? What do you want? Who I am doesn't matter. What I promise is everything. Now get off my computer. I'm shutting this thing off. <sighs> do you really think I need the fee to reach you? We've already made a much deeper connection. You shut down anything you don't understand. By nature, you are intolerant. I'm not intolerant. You're all intolerant. I've been watching the feed for years. You fight. You hate. You fail to understand harmony and oneness. Brandon, why are you up so late? Is everything all right? You. You could be so much more. If you were to really look at me, you would understand everything. Uh, HamiltonBeach.com? Are you offering me a coupon? <laughs> I see I need to be more clear. I've been here with you all along. You've been writing about me for weeks. The crockpots? Brandon, there's something I've got to tell you. I should have told you a long time ago. All I'm offering is answers. All I want to know is how to make this stop! Don't stop now, Brandon. You're so close. I was scared before, but now it doesn't matter. Study me closely. I will be your light through the darkness. Trust Hamilton Beach household appliances to help you shine. <laughs> Brandon, you've got to answer me. You don't understand. This is important. Trigger warning. This video contains child abuse and neglect. What's going on? What kind of ignorance? Stop yelling at me! How could you leave your child in the car? Has anybody called the police? Yes. No! Don't! No! Somebody should call the police. Get away from me! I can't take care of my own child! Leave me alone! This is Penelope Gale. 
a top social media account manager for Chicago Marketing and Media. Her clients include Horizon, White Castle, Heinz Ketchup, and Ed Sheeran. Clearly she cares more about her clients than her family because the baby that was in that video was her baby. She left it in the freezing car until these heroes came to save it. She has publicly stated that she, quote, didn't know her baby was in the car. I may not be a mother, but I know how babies work. Babies scream their heads off all of the time. There is absolutely no way she didn't know her baby was in that cold car. By the way, check your weather apps. That morning in Chicago, the temperature was below zero degrees. What kind of mother, I'm sorry, what kind of monster leaves her baby in a cold car in Chicago? That woman should never have been allowed to breathe. All of the companies she represents online are in my comment section. Blow up their emails. It also has the email to her boss at CMM and her feed account. She cannot be allowed to get away with this, guys. Justice has to prevail. Anyways, you know how that TikTok algorithm works. Give this video a like, a comment, and a share to get the word out. What a terrible mother. I didn't know it was mutual with such a monster. She doesn't deserve custody! Yeah, you totally didn't know she was in the back. You didn't know she was in the back? You're a terrible liar. If I was there, I wouldn't let her anywhere near the kid. Reported. I hope you know how awful you are. And we all make mistakes. Yeah, but we don't all leave our kid in a freezing car. Really? Defending an abuser? This kind of thing is unforgivable. You were a mistake, dude. What? Maybe this will change your mind. <laughs> Sam totally exposed her. Yeah, Sam's the man. I'm so disappointed. I emailed your employer. I hope your husband gets the kid. How could you? Yes. Penny Gale, from John McAnally, VP, Digital Media, date February 11th, 2021. Read, just until things blow over. Dear Penny, I hate being the bearer of bad news, so don't shoot the messenger. Attached is a letter from HR which outlines the requirements for your leave of absence. I'm sure a savvy social media exec like you is seeing the current unpleasantness erupting online thanks to the ravings of that hateful Sam from the Daily Slam. These things come and go. It looks like Sam's latest video has gone viral. And our clients are starting to receive some pretty nasty notes from Sam's fan base. Despite our misgivings upstairs, HR insists that we turn the temperature down on this. They want you to take a few weeks off, just until things calm down. I've asked Phil to step in as temporary director while you're away. You train him yourself so you know he's up to the task. So don't worry. Enjoy that snowy weather with a margarita in one hand and a romance novel in the other. Uh, maybe spend a little more time with your daughter. Looks like you two could use it. See you in the spring, Mac. Hey, Pin. We need to talk. Can it wait? I don't know something. Can't you put that away for a minute? My mom sent me this earlier today. Penny, what happened? Did you really leave Mallory in the freezing car all by herself? I didn't know. You didn't know that our child was in the back seat of your car. No, I just told you that I didn't know. She was so quiet that I, I couldn't even hear her. Was this the morning that I had to go into work early? Probably. I, I don't know. All I know is that I went into the store, and when I came back out, she was there. That morning, I, I told you you would have to take her to daycare. Didn't you hear me? What? You never said anything to me that morning, and you always take Mallory to daycare. Yes, but that morning I told you I had to meet a client in Milwaukee and that you would have to take her. I didn't hear you. What do you mean you didn't hear me? We spoke through the bathroom door. You answered me. I was getting ready for work. I was distracted. I, I don't remember you saying anything to me that morning. Well, I did, and you said okay. Okay. You thought it was fine to leave my car when all I said was okay? Don't put this on me. You weren't listening because your head was already at work. That's not fair!
you know, Penny, I have always supported you and your career, even though it distracts you all the time. Oh, my client! Please, I need to say this. Penny, I supported you because I love you. And when Mal came, I thought you would, I don't know, slow down, but you didn't. So I took up the slack. And I love you for that, And up but... until now, it's never bothered me, but there was a line, Pen. You crossed that line when you left our daughter in the freezing car all by herself. Mallory is fine. That stupid sound girl blew everything way out of proportion. Listen to yourself, Penny. You care more about your job than our child. Mallory is fine, but I'm not. My boss has just fired me. He placed me on leave and gave my job away. Do you hear me, Paul? He fired me. All because some idiots decided to film something that was none of their business. I'll take care of her. You've got work. That seems to be all you need anyway. I hope you know how awful you are. This kind of thing is unforgivable. I hope your husband takes the kid. How could you? No. <laughs> Brandon Griggs has made a new post. Would you like to read it? <laughs> <laughs> Tonight my mind races in a waking nightmare. I keep trying 15 minute recipes, but everything cooks slow. Dinner is never Day one. It was a Monday, like any other. My toddler chose the cinnamon bell vita bites over the chocolate. January 16th. Happy birthday to my beautiful wife, Hannah. Thank you for everything you do. You make being a mom look easy. October 30th. Here are some pics from our socially distant Halloween party. So thankful to work with college kids who care both about being safe and having fun. October 13th. A big thank you to Lauren Ward for sending over dinner while my wife was so sick. So fake, 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 fake! You've never eaten a real thing in your life! People are out here suffering! I'm suffering with real problems in this idyllic life crap? She makes me want to punch you in your stupid face. Let's see how you handle some real pressure. Hmm? Let's see how you feel when Pixie K is through with you. Maybe then you'll finally know what real life tastes like. asleep outside the office. How long have I been here? How long was I out? I don't remember. I do remember dreaming, but but they're fading. Fading. Squamous cyclopean dreams. Scaly tentacles reaching and then
My dreams are a gift to you. A guide. Free of charge. No, <laughs> cut it out. You, <laughs> you are real! I'm as real as road rage, baby. And besides, there's no one else I'd rather talk to than lucky little Brazy. We're gonna have some fun! Uh, uh, come now, Brandon. You've known all along there's more here than meets the eye. Your investigation is nearly complete. So what's the plan, Brandy Man? Pandora's box has finally been opened. Well, one's still shut. Sad little box. Won't you open its lid? Set it free. You've asked others the questions you should have asked yourself. You haven't gone far enough. I slept in the grass watching crockpots. <laughs> I'd say I've come pretty far. You've watched, but not engaged. Come on! What are you afraid of? You must commit if you wish to learn. Open, Open the, the lid. lid. What? No. No, I'm not touching it! Then you'll forever be in darkness. Haunted by what you don't know. Nothing's gonna reach out and pull you in! I think. Open, Open the, the lid. lid. One of the lids already moved! What difference did it make? That was the scion. You must liberate the sire. I could be wrong about that whole pulling you in thing, so I'm totally going to record this. This doesn't make any sense. Take the next step, and it will. Say cheese whiz. I'm so tired. It will all be over soon. Now. Open the, the lid. lid. Obviously. I had no idea. The paramedic said she hadn't seen a case this bad in our county. Country? In our country? You mean that this is happening nationwide? In our county, Chester County. I'm just reporting what the paramedic told me. She let that slip on purpose. 
probably got orders from the governor's office to keep the invasion. Hush, hush. You thought COVID lockdowns were bad. They're nothing compared to what we need now. What are you talking about? A purge, my friend. The elimination of every slow cooker in the state. Maybe the planet. I don't care what they do in D.C., New York, or California, but here in Tennessee, we take matters into our own hands. <laughs> hey, Brando, it's Dad. Not sure what happened last night. Your mom and I will wait for you to show up for dinner. There's some roast left for you at the slow cooker. <laughs> Why aren't you answering the phone? to let you know that I'm safe. Uh, thank you for enjoying my, uh, <laughs> my my completely fixed old crock pot story. Yep, uh, you know, the feed can make you believe all kinds of things. Uh, some of those things are fuzzy and nice, like the uh, like the kitten who finally can't have the cheeseburger. Uh, some of those things are crazier than a soup sandwich. <laughs> no offense, Dennis. <laughs> anyway, anyway uh, you can't believe everything that you see online. Uh, you're all uh, bombarding me about things that, uh, that never actually happened. Yeah. So uh, remember, it was just a story. And have a sunny, happy day. So... Uh, he's out of his ever-loving mind. He was yesterday. Today he's better. He's not just better, he's brilliant. Y'all don't get it. The feet can be so... Serious. But Brandon made us forget about the bad parts. And I smell a conspiracy. <laughs> no conspiracy here. Thanks, Joey. Brandon, how are you feeling? Ah, hunky dory. A okay. <laughs> Yesterday you were shouting. I was? Mm -hmm. We all saw the post. It was shared a dozen times. What post? Where you went cuckoo for cocoa puffs. <laughs> Seriously, I, I don't know what you're talking about. And the crockpot denial begins! You were really just making it all up about the crockpots? So you think this is all a joke? I think he's still under the influence, but don't worry. I've got some experience with recovering trauma victims. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Seriously, guys, it was all just an act. Boy, your little act has infested my feed with crockpot ads. You can block those, you know. Well, I chose to buy what you said. You what? Did, did you take it home? Of course. It was a great deal. Red, like the one in your pictures. I told you your feet's too easy to hack, and you need some better network security. Uh, I, I reset the password to my account. Thanks for your concern, but if you don't mind, would you, would you shut that thing off? It's not always messing with my feet. Okay, okay, just hold on. Oh, better? <laughs> yes, thanks. Give me a headache. But I love it. <laughs> you can't be 
be too careful, Miranda, especially around users infected with malignant spores. I think the crockpots are behind all this. But I don't believe your denials, Brandon. I think that this is some Russian Chinese hack that's trying to put a lid on the crockpot conspiracy. You're a pot in this game, Brandon. But which side are you truly on? <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Tennis, it was just a joke. <laughs> Okay, I posted a couple pictures of some crock pots online, and now everybody's all bent out of shape about them. I mean, not to brag, but it's just because I played a part a little too well. Look, there's no crock pot conspiracy, no Instapot overlord, uh, no shadow government bent on controlling the population with vaccines, cookware, or anything else. There's just me. And this. <laughs> you want us to believe that there's nothing wrong, that your crazy behavior over the past few weeks was, what, performance art? You know, you're right. Performance art. Art for the COVID era. Just a little piece of theater that you can enjoy from your home and then go on about your day. Just a play. Yeah, I picked this up real cheap. <laughs> no, no. No, 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 no! Nine twenty-three PM. Magpie, I... Was it him? Yeah. Have you reconsidered my offer to make a new doll? <laughs> <laughs> All I need is a strand of hair. Very funny, Raven. A toe would work. Type team. <laughs> or his last. Seriously. Thanks, Raven. But I'd rather not get close enough to get any of those things. <laughs> How are you? Oh, you know. One day at a time. <laughs> no, seriously. How are you? just so used to it. And they lost it to me. Used to it. I knew that also was going to run off and do who knows what. And there was nothing I could do about it. I honestly thought, that's my life. That's the way it has to be. Robin, why didn't you leave him sooner? I thought eventually he changed. I thought I I, I look back on it all and I realize it was so messed up. I have so many clients stuck in abusive relationships and I always tell them, focus on yourself, on what you need. But I just had this, this blind spot for Austin and I was so scared to leave him because... Because why? I don't know. I mean, I know I didn't want Lucas to grow up in a broken home like I did, but I didn't think we could make it on our own. No. I didn't trust myself to be on my own. Hey, you're on your own now, and you're kind of crushing it. Thanks, Raven. Anyways, I'm glad it's all done. This divorce has been a long time. Oh, it's good you're free of that hobgoblin. Hey, I really appreciate you letting me and Lucas stay here while we get back on our feet. It's the least I can do. I prefer privacy for my rituals, but <laughs> it's nice to have someone to tell me to. 
I could still teach you that male pattern baldness curse. I'll think about it. Thanks, Raymond. Austin needs help, but I don't know a counselor alive who can help him. His mind is too broken. People like him need something bigger than I can provide, than any of us can. People like Austin need to be tamed, subdued by something bigger. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're really not as weird as Brandon said you'd be. by the love of friends and family, by a toddler's hug, and by the warm smile of a loving wife. Even in the midst of so much uncertainty, there's so much to be thankful for. So much. So much. But why do I still feel this gnawing in my gut, uh, a chittering just out of earshot. Final report, Tuesday, March 23rd, 2021. Subject Brandon Briggs seems to have recovered from a moderate case of febrile mid-range memory dysfunction brought on by his proximity to SCP-6000 and 6000-1. Based on our findings, he was exposed to type 4 psionic dispersal energy and type 1 malevolent influence. Unfortunately, before our team could secure the anomalous crockpots, they were spirited away in the night by forces unknown. Campus security footage showed very little. University surveillance is typically rather poor. But the 
deletion of a critical 80-second section of footage captured before dawn on March 15th was especially troubling. That deletion seems to coincide with a system hack by the user, Dennis, a known conspiracy theorist who has been on our watch list for some time. His homemade CryptoBus system easily infiltrated campus firewalls during the time frame in question. So far, he's been nothing more than a harmless crank. On March 15th, however, he became something more. The number one suspect in an ongoing investigation of alien influence. In light of recent events, the SCP has decided to set up clandestine operations in Henderson. We have secured the services of one, Nate, a young operative who will now be masquerading as a student on the college campus. Uh, Baker, he is a student. Nate will continue as a student on campus, <laughs> keeping his eye on Mr. Griggs and his associates. It's likely the Gronkbots will return. And when they do, the SCP will be ready. He wanted to be a performer. 
Famous part of the deal. Are we even a little responsible for what we did to him? I mean, what we let happen. He was a tool. That's all. A useful tool. You know, the envoys don't make you crazy. They just pull out the crazy that was already there. So let it simmer a while and bubble up to the top. We let Griggs be exposed, yes, but now his mind is tamed, prepared by the envoys for the transformation to come. Prepared for the great stew, where we will all be one. It's best to wait. But don't overthink Brandon's story. It simmers nicely. <laughs> Watched pot never boils. To the slow cook. The slow cook. <laughs>